Okay, so I'm told 13th term is 51, so that's T13 is 51. So T13 is A plus 12D. 51, all is one less D than the term number. The ninth term, T9, is 5 times, equals 5 times the second term, T2. So T9, that will be A plus 8D equals 5 times, and T2 will be A plus 1D, A plus D. So these are my two equations which I need to solve to find A and D. Tied up the second one, A plus 8D equals 5A plus 5D. Take the Ds to one side, 8D, take away 5D, 5A taking A plus 3D is 4a. So I'm solving that with that. Right, I can substitute for 3d into the first one. I don't need to go to fractions, so 3d is 4a. If I scale that up and times both by 4, I get 12d is 16a. And I'll sub into this equation. I got a plus 16a is 51, so 17a. 51, 51 over 17 and that goes in three times there's a3 so back into this equation a plus 12d is 51 a is 3 so 3 plus 12d is 51 take 3 over that will 48 and then 48 shared by 12 is 4 so a is 3 and D is 4. Part B. The first term of another AP is 5. So that's A is 5. And the 20th term is 62. So T20 is 62. So that's A plus 19D is 62. And I want to find the sum of the first 20 terms. I want to find S, 20. Okay, let's get D from these two equations then. So sub in for A is 5 here. 5 plus 19D, 62. So 19D, 62 take away 5, 57. So D is 57 shared by 19, which is 3. A is 5, D is 3. Now S20, the sum formula is Sn is n over 2, 2A plus n minus 1D. So now I put in n equal to 20, D equal to 3, and A equal to 5 in that. So S20 will be 20 over 2. 2A, A is 5, so 2A is 10 plus n minus 1, so it's 20, take away 1 is 19, and d is 3. So 20 shared by 2 is 10, and the 10 plus 3 19 is 57. So 57 and 10 is 67, so we've got 10 times 67, which is 670.